the channel, everybody. This is Steve Calloway at YouTube, Steve Calloway One, and we are here doing a our the seventh iconic pairing. This time it's going to be with Beyonce and Angelina, and both singing "If I Were a Boy." As the story goes, it's not a story; it's a fact, I guess. That uh, Toby Gad uh, wrote the song originally. Beyonce came in. Uh, I don't think it was actually for her, but it was for somebody else. Beyonce came in and heard it, wanted to record it, uh, and they did. And it was uh, a pretty good size hit for Beyonce. And uh, then, it, 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 this was quite a few years ago, 10 years ago or more, uh, 2008 according to that. So that would be, what, 18, oh, 16 years ago. Ooh, that's a long time ago. Almost as old as Angelina is. And uh, in any case... Uh, that's what this, this particular video of Beyonce singing If I Were a Boy was on the Oprah show, I think. And uh, at least that's what the title seemed to imply. And uh, then, of course, we have Angelina singing at the St. James Church. Uh, there's a couple of versions of this. I picked the a cappella one because I think that's so incredibly uh, beautiful and iconic that I couldn't not include it in this video. So let's go ahead and listen first to Beyonce. She's a global superstar, and uh, we shall watch. So singing her hit single, If I Were a Boy, Beyonce. Even just for a day. the guys and chase after girls I keep in with who I wanted and I never get confronted for it cause they stick up for me it's my Just a boy
have uh, Beyonce with her version of Toby Gadd's uh, If I Were a Boy. Next, let's watch Angelina. Uh, I'm going to comment at the end, uh, I think, about, you know, what I see in both videos. But, um, yeah, let's just watch Angelina, I think. If I were a boy, even just for a day, I'd roll out of bed in the morning and throw on what I wanted and go. Drink beer with the guys and chase as a girl. I could kill with who I wanted And I never get confronted for it Cause they stick up for me If I were a bird I think I could understand How it feels to love a girl I swear I'd be a better man I listen to her Cause I know I'm her When you lose the one you want Cause he's taking you for granted And everything you had got destroyed If I were a boy I would turn up my phone Tell everyone it's broken So they think that I was sleeping alone I put myself first And make the rules as I go I know that she'd be faithful or Waiting for me To come home To come home If I were a bird I think I could understand How we feel to love a girl I swear That was good. That felt really good. Musically, it was really good. Mm -hmm. Well, one difference is, <laughs> for whatever reason, I don't know. I think I do know, but I, you know, I can't really articulate it. I guess is uh, Angelina's version makes me cry with tears of 
joy, happiness, and the recognition that I'm listening to a human being that has an ex extraordinary, extraordinary level of talent and ability and whatever you may believe, whether it's given from God, the universe, or she just happens to come up with it. I don't, you know, you can believe whatever you want, but it's obvious and it's right in our face uh, when she sings. And I think for those that can look past certain things, you know, Beyonce is a big star. We, you know, and Angelina is just starting on her journey towards that. And even though she's been singing for, for, for more than 10 years, she's, she's just in earnest because now she's a young adult. Um, on the, she's on the fast train now to move towards whatever her musical destiny may be. I believe it's uh, uh, going to be uh, I, iconship for sure. I believe she'll be regarded probably by many people not before too long as being one of the best singers ever, period. Uh, but, you know, I think the, uh, see, Beyonce is a good singer. She's also an entertainer. She's got her own style. Uh, Angelina keeps it simple, a cappella to start with. It's just her, her voice and the, the acoustics in that church. And uh, that's all she needs. She doesn't need much. She doesn't need a lot of glitz and glamour and all that stuff. Now, it's not Beyonce's fault that I picked when she went on Oprah show. <laughs> I could have picked... There's uh, quite a few videos of uh, Beyonce singing the song. I, I looked at... One of the other choices was a, a CBS, uh, the Grammy show. And I couldn't... I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't put that on there. It's too... I don't know, I might do it, I might do it in a different video, but it's like, uh, you know, to me, Angelina represents, along with being a very talented singer, beautiful young lady, a great person, uh, she's also, to me, is, has, has so far been able to remain classy and respectful to herself, uh, and I think that that's that. That's a, something I think that, that will help her produce for herself happy happiness in the long run, and longevity in the business. That's just my opinion. Because when you start selling pieces of yourself to get to where you want to go, I think that's uh, there, that throws up a little bit of a red flag to me. At least in regards to you know what you're willing to do to get to where you want to be, and. In Angelina's case, I believe it's all going to come fairly naturally to her because she is the best. So she doesn't; she's not going to have to give up anything to get there. She's already there. So it's just a matter of uh, negotiating the the waters of the uh, music industry, I guess. And she has, you know, good solid people on her side, so or on her team. So we'll see where everything goes, but. Um, yeah, Beyonce's a good singer. She, you know, she she did her thing. She did good. And again, when I'm doing these pairings, I'm not doing it to be drawing comparison. But I think it's kind of natural that we kind of do that on in our own you know, in our own head. But I think that uh, you know, I think the same thing. A lot of you make me thinking. You know, I think Angelina is such a superior singer in so many ways. You know, as you know, why is Angelina where she's at, which is not a bad spot, by the way, uh, and Beyonce's a billionaire, okay? Yeah, it's worth, it's just something worth considering. The other thing worth considering, Beyonce's been around for quite a long time in the thick of the music industry, not on the peripherals, okay? So, yeah, it's, a, it's something to think about. But getting there and then being happy with that uh, who knows? I saw an article uh, somewhere on my phone, probably, that Adele was thinking about taking a break uh, from music again uh, for a while. Um, you know, she just came back and she's a super superstar, and uh, now she might be taking a little bit of a break. Well, you know, 
she should take care of herself, whatever that means. You know, she needs to take a break, take a break. And, you know, I, I guess it's got to be quite a grind to have to always be here, there, or otherwhere performing and always be at your best. But, again, I think Angelina has something that maybe a lot of people don't really have. Some people have drive, some people have ambition. But Angelina has pure natural talent and ability, and she loves to sing. And I'm not saying Beyonce and Adele don't love to sing, or any other singer. Sure they do. But, you know, sometimes it's something that you love if you keep doing it for your whole life. If you didn't really, truly love it for real, you know, it can wear you down. So... I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, I think that Angelina's got everything she needs to be uh, the ultimate iconic superstar by the time she's done with her musical career. And I think she's kind of already reached those plateaus myself, but I'm a biased fan, so that doesn't really count for very much. So anyway, that was a long talk. Sorry about that. And just I'm preaching to the choir too, which isn't uh, necessarily a good thing to be doing. <laughs> you guys all have your own thoughts, but... Uh, yeah, pretty good. I might do another Beyonce, Angelina one and use a different video for Beyonce and Angelina. Uh, perhaps with this song, I'll, I'll probably wait a little while and do it a little bit down the road, but um, I got a lot more parents. All right, guys, well, have a good night.